We've seen several arrests so far tonight after protesters tried to get on the downtown connector. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joins us now from downtown Atlanta. Doug, police acting very quickly here to try and, re and redirect them from getting on that freeway area. It was uh, something to see, to see the protesters on foot heading down toward the interstate and then the police officers flanking them in police cars, going around them. It was uh, both exhilarating and uh, looked a little dangerous, and they pulled it off uh, without a hitch. This all started actually here at Atlanta City Hall at what was a lively sort of stationary protest. But its high point came when protesters decided to march south toward the interstate around what used to be called Turner Field. State patrol officers and other state police blocked the highway with police and blue lights blocking, blocking all the lanes. And we heard police telling protesters that it was for their own safety, that marching on the busiest interstate in Georgia would be a little dangerous for them. So at that point, the march lost momentum and uh, the protesters agreed to turn back. We saw several people handcuffed. We talked with one of the leaders of the protest after that happened. So far, it's been very peaceful. There have been a, a few people detained. I don't know if they've been arrested yet, um, but there's been no property damage and there's been peaceful protests. I haven't seen any knives or any brown liquor, uh, <laughs> and it's been peaceful protests. And that, of course, is Gerald Griggs making a reference to uh, something Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms said Friday night when uh, describing the protesters who were out Friday uh, who were being way more destructive than uh, the folks were here this afternoon. We did see several people who were uh, cuffed, some who were taken into custody. Uh, an AJC photographer, Alyssa Moy a Pointer, was among those cuffed for a while, but uh, the police released her. Uh, anyway, it all ended... Uh, with the crowd dispersing and uh, with uh, these folks, uh, the, the, the National Guard and police here near the state capitol uh, taking a break and uh, uh, waiting for whatever happens this evening. Back Doug, to you. Doug, the attorney, Gerald Griggs, that you just spoke to a moment ago, he was one of the original organizers of the protests, the peaceful protests that we saw on Friday before they escalated out of control. He was one that said, you know, he wanted uh, not to see the violence that we did on Friday night. Did he have anything else to say about how this evening will transpire as he believes it may or as it should? Uh, he didn't make any predictions. What he said was that he that was that people wanted to forcefully protest, didn't mind violating laws in the ways that Dr. King uh, and other civil rights leaders back in the day violated the law, uh, but were not seeking to uh, do the kind of more violent uh, uh, offenses that uh, you saw over the weekend. Yeah, and, and we saw protesters make their way onto the interstate on Friday. They weren't there very long, but I would imagine, as we saw during the protests a number of years ago after Ferguson, Missouri, when protesters attempted to get on that freeway at that area uh, that were blocked from doing so by law enforcement, we will see that ramped up again tonight in an effort to make sure the freeways are clear for their protection as well. Doug Richards, thank you.